Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Razia and I'm here to help you make better skincare choices. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and check me out over on Instagram and TikTok for more. I've been meaning to do a body care video for a long time and it's finally here, <laughs> finally. While I was planning this video, I was struggling a little bit to figure out how I should go about it because I did of course want to cover some skin issues like keratosis pilaris or body acne, but I also wanted to do some other body care recommendations that are more just for the pampering fun type of body care as well. So I ended up coming to the conclusion that I should just put everything <laughs> all into one video and I'm gonna have everything broken up into chapters as well. So it makes it really easy for you to navigate the video. We're gonna have body wash, body scrubs, and body lotions and oils as well. And treatment products for all of those different categories as well will be in this video. So, let's get into it and of course everything's going to be linked in the description box below as well just to make it easy for you to go and check those products out if any of them interest you as well this is a really fun video for me because i i really love body care i really do just as much as i love skincare if i'm being honest with you and it's something i really enjoy i really enjoy having an over-the-top body care routine i know it's not for everyone but if you get it you get it you know what i mean it's just one of those things so let's just get right into it and start off with body wash. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I do think body wash is the most boring category, at least in this video. I just haven't tried too many different types of body washes and I don't really know how much more different or how much more special a body wash can be. What can I say? I really like my Dove body wash. <laughs> it really just gets the job done. And I have no complaints. I really have no complaints when I'm using my Dove body wash. There's a bunch of different scents. They all smell good. And it just, it just works, you know? It's, you can use as much of it as you like and you don't have to feel too bad because it only costs like $9 for 500 mils. And it just really, really gets the job done. I love the original. I love the powdery smell. And I really like the coconut one as well. I really like coconut scents in body care type of products. But Dove body wash aside, another one that I really like is the Method body wash. There are a bunch of other scents available at Woolies if you do have Method in stock at your Woolies, but I have only tried the coconut one. I really like the smell. The smell also lingers on the skin a little bit when you step out of the shower, which is really nice. I really like a body wash that lathers up like a lot. I like a lot of foam and this one does a good job of that. Same with the Dove one and they both smell really good and leave the skin feeling really, really nice and clean. Yes, they're basic. Yes, they're available at Woolies, but they work and they get the job done. The latest body wash I did buy because I wanted to try something new was the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Shower Cream, I think it's called. And it's got that signature caramelly Sol de Janeiro scent, which is really nice, but it is more of a creamy type of body wash. It doesn't lather up a ton because it's supposed to be more hydrating on the skin, which I guess is nice, but I prefer just a really lathery, lathery type of body wash. So that one really didn't deliver for me on that end. I got a mini pack of the Sol de Janeiro line. So I'm gonna use the whole thing up, but it's not something I'm gonna repurchase in the full size, especially because the full size is like 350 mils for $40 and it's just not worth it. I don't like it enough to justify buying it. So, so yeah, that one was a pass from me. And honestly, besides the Dove and the Method body washes, I haven't really tried any other body washes that have like floored me by any means. Before I move on to the other categories, I am gonna cover some body washes for keratosis pilaris and for body acne as well. First, let's cover keratosis pilaris. When you are picking products to treat these different conditions, it's important to understand what the condition is. So with keratosis pilaris or KP, also known as chicken skin or strawberry skin, it's basically when the skin is covered in red dots or bumps. And these are basically clogged up hair follicles. So the skin overproduces keratin and this keratin then clogs up the hair follicles and that's why you get the bumps and that's why you get the red dots. It's not really something that can be cured, but there are definitely things you can do to help minimize its appearance and minimize the frequency at which it comes back. And one thing about KP I do want to make clear is that it is a very, very common condition. It's very, very common, especially when you're younger. And it's one of those things that kind of decreases as you get older. I had it very apparent on my upper arms, especially, but as I'm getting older, I'm finding I'm having to worry about it less and less because it's just going away on its own without me really having to do too much to treat it. 
So now that we understand what KP is, if you're wanting to reduce it in those areas, you basically just want to break down that keratin and break down those dead skin cells before they get a chance to clog up your hair follicles. And the best way to do this is to use something with an AHA in it or an alpha hydroxy acid. These help to exfoliate the area, to get rid of those dead skin cells and to break down that keratin so that it doesn't block your hair follicles. There really aren't too many AHA based body washes out there. So your best bet is to use like a facial cleanser that has AHA in it on the areas of concern. My top recommendation for this is the Skinstitute 12% glycolic acid cleanser. Very high percentage of glycolic acid in this one, so it's very effective at exfoliating the area. So what you wanna do, you wanna take some of that cleanser, lather it up, and lather it up on whatever areas of concern, and then you wanna leave it on that area for a few minutes, just to give a chance for the active ingredient in the product to do its work on the skin before washing it away. And there's also the Mecca Athletica body wash that has a blend of AHA and PHA, so that will also help with exfoliating. So, and now for body acne, very similar to facial acne, the ingredients you wanna look for are things like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. These are really good for unclogging pores and just reducing the sebum production in the area as well. So of course they're very effective treatments for acne. And exact same thing as you would for KP, whatever product you use, you wanna lather it up, put it on the area of concern, let it sit for a couple minutes. When it comes to salicylic acid facial cleansers that you can use on your body, there's the La Roche-Posay Effaclair salicylic acid cleanser. This one has 2% salicylic acid in there, which is a really good concentration. You've also got the Inkelis salicylic acid cleanser that also has 2% salicylic acid in there. So you can use that as a body wash in whatever areas you need to. And then you've also got benzoyl peroxide, which is another great ingredient for treating acne. It is a very strong one. So a lot of people might not be able to tolerate it on the face but our body skin is a lot more resilient than our facial skin. So it might be worth using it as a body wash in the areas you have body acne. And again, you wanna do this quite frequently, a couple times a week if you can, and be consistent with it so that you do start to see those results happening over time as well. And that's all the recommendations that I have for body wash. Like I said, a little bit on the boring side, it's gonna get more interesting as we go on. If you have any other fun body wash recommendations, let me know in the comments down below because I'm always up for trying new things. Now let's talk body scrubs, which is one of my favorite parts of my body care routine. <laughs> I mentioned in my last video actually that if I'm gonna use a body scrub, I like it to be salt-based or sugar-based. They feel really nice on the skin. They make your skin feel really nice and soft. And they also kind of dissolve as you're working it into the skin, which makes it really easy to wash off, which means they're not gonna leave a mess in the shower. Now this is very, very important to me. There is nothing worse than a body scrub that leaves a mess all over your shower. I am absolutely not here for that. Now, in saying that, my absolute body scrub ever is this one from Osea. This is their Salt of the Earth body scrub, and it is amazing. Like, this is a salt scrub that's also got a bunch of nice oils in there. So when you're applying this to the skin, you get the abrasiveness of the salt that kind of breaks down as you're using it. As you wash it away, your skin just feels so soft and smooth. Your skin doesn't feel oily, but it just feels really smooth and amazing. And the smell, the smell is so good as well. This really is such a phenomenal product. This is my backup tub. I have already finished one. I've got another one in the shower and then this is my backup because it's so good. Next product is the same one that I mentioned in last week's video and this is the Bali Body Essentials Body Scrub. It's got a really nice texture and it leaves your skin with that really nice smoothness as well because it's got the oils in there as well that give your skin that real nice nourish feeling. Another really good thing about this one is the price point. I think it's only $25 or $30 for this one. So if you want something that's similar enough to the Osea one that I just mentioned, but you don't wanna pay that much, then maybe consider trying the Bali Body one. Another body scrub I wanna try that looks really, really nice is the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. I've smelt that one in store at Sephora and had a feel of the texture. Smells amazing, feels amazing. I think I'm definitely gonna grab that on my next Sephora shop. If you've tried that one, or if you have any other body scrub recommendations, leave them in the comments for me. Now for treatment scrubs. I don't have any recommendations that will help with body acne, but I have a few that are really good for dealing with KP skin. Now, as I mentioned before, with KP skin, you wanna look for things with AHAs. You can use just a cleanser, but I prefer a scrub, an AHA scrub to be specific, because that way you get the chemical exfoliation from the AHA and you get the physical exfoliation. And the physical exfoliation 
really helps when you have KP because the skin can be quite bumpy. So it just feels really good to get a little physical exfoliation in that area as well to help smooth out some of those bumps as well. My absolute favorite AHA scrub, I saw really amazing results with this one, is the Skin Institute Glycolic Scrub 14%. It's got 14% of glycolic acid in there and it's also got jojoba beads in there. So the jojoba beads help with physical exfoliating and the 14% glycolic acid does such a good job of really, really reducing the dead skin cells in the area. If you don't want to try the Skin Institute one, another really good one is the First Aid Beauty KP Body Scrub. This has 10% AHA in it, and it's also got a little bit of physical exfoliation in there as well. And lastly, we come to body lotions, and I absolutely love a good body lotion. This is not a surprise to anyone, but of course my absolute favorite body lotion is this one from Osea, and this is their Undaria Algae Body Butter. So technically not a body lotion, it is a body butter, but it is amazing. The smell is amazing, the rich texture is amazing, it absorbs right in and it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky or greasy, it just leaves it feeling really really nice and smelling really really nice as well. This is one of those products where the smell really sticks and lingers to the skin, which is really really nice. And I just, I enjoy it so, so much. I really, really do. If we can ever get this brand properly stocked in Australia, that really will be just the best thing ever. It really will. Next up for body lotions and body creams, we have the Sol de Janeiro products. So when I went to pick up some things from Sol de Janeiro, I got the yellow set and then I got a mini tub of the pink and I started off with the yellow. I used the body wash and I used the cream and the cream is quite nice. It's more of a lightweight kind of body moisturizer. So it's not too heavy, not one of those thick body butter types. Very nice whipped kind of texture that very easy to spread around and absorb into the skin. So something that a lot of different skin types will enjoy. And I was like, oh, I also need to try this one because I bought it, you know? So let me open it and try it out. And let's just say when I go to buy a full size of these Sol de Janeiro products, I am gonna be getting a full size of this and not of this. <laughs> this pink Sol de Janeiro cream has my ideal body cream consistency. It definitely has a thicker consistency that's still easily absorbed and doesn't feel heavy or greasy on the skin at all. And the smell of this cream is so, so nice. It's just nice. Next time you're in store at Mecca, I would say definitely give this a sniff <laughs> next time you're there. <laughs> I have a few fragrance-free body lotion recommendations as well. The first one is this Cetaphil Body Spray Moisturizer. I really think this is such a slept on product. It's so good. It really is so good. As much as I love my thick creams, I know they're not for everyone. This product, on the other hand, is something that I think a lot of people will definitely appreciate, especially if you're one of those people that skips body moisturizer. If you're that person, then this product is definitely for you. You literally just spray it onto the skin like that. It's very runny, it's very liquidy, and then you just spread it in and it absorbs in literally seconds and that's it, it's gone. It leaves your skin feeling very hydrated and moisturized, but it doesn't, you don't feel any of the residue or anything like that on the skin. So one of those products that you can quickly spritz all over the whole body, rub it in, chuck your clothes on, really good if you're in a rush or if you're someone that just doesn't like to spend too much time on your body care routine. Another body cream for my dry sensitive girls is the Bioderma Atoderm Intensive Balm. Bioderma Atoderm range is really good body care for those of you that need something fragrance free or something that's really suitable for dry sensitive eczema prone type skin. Here I've got the Intensive Balm and I've also got the cream and it also comes in a gel cream as well. So whatever texture you prefer, whether you want something rich or whether you want something light, the Atoderm range has something for all of you. And the products work really well to moisturize and also treat any itchiness or any sensitivity that you have in the skin as well. Now, as for treatment body lotions, let's talk about KP first. KP is actually significantly worsened when the skin is dry. So just by moisturizing your skin, you're already doing so much to really help with lessening the KP on your skin. So when it comes to body lotions for KP, anything with an AHA in it, so lactic acid or glycolic acid is gonna be really helpful. But you also wanna look for urea in the ingredient list as well. It's because urea is an ingredient that helps prevent the buildup of keratin in the first place. 
So without that buildup of keratin, you're not going to get that blockage in your hair follicles. One recommendation for this is the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cream. This has 10% urea in it, so very good for dealing with those dry, bumpy areas. Dermal Therapy is another chemist brand that also has a bunch of body lotions, and quite a few of them have urea in them as well. Another recommendation I have for you is this Frank Body Smoothing AHA Body Lotion. It's got lactic and glycolic acid in here. I've actually used this one for the past few weeks on my upper arms. Even though my KP is significantly lessened to what it was a few years ago, it's not completely gone. So I still like to do a little bit of maintenance and I do that with an AHA lotion and this one has been working really well for me. And when it comes to body lotions for body acne, you want to make sure you're moisturizing when you do have acne. Use something lightweight, don't use something too rich on those areas. Moisturizing is really good for the skin no matter what skin condition you have even if you have acne as well. If you do want to look for a body lotion with salicylic acid, you can use the one from Paula's Choice. It's called their Weightless Body Treatment, and it's got 2% salicylic acid in there, which is really good. Another option for those of you with body acne, because it's really hard to find BHA lotions, another product from Paula's Choice, which is also really good, is their salicylic acid body spray. If you've got acne maybe on your back, which is a little bit more of a hard to reach area, spraying salicylic acid on that might be a really good solution for you. So I think I've officially covered everything I possibly can when it comes to body care. I hope the recommendations in this video were really helpful for you. If you have any other suggestions or recommendations or any questions about any of the products I mentioned, please leave them in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer you. And I think that just about wraps it up for this one. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like down below. Make sure to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.